What is going on everybody? It is way too fast here and today we're going to be looking at the hidden artifact weapon for Holy Paladins. Now, I want to go ahead and go over a few pros and cons and just some tips before going ahead and doing this grind. This is a very long grind. Um, I have a bunch of information that I'm going to have in this video. Um, the, just finding it is the easy part, but there's a lot of things that I would have done differently to help with the farm to make it a lot quicker. And I figured I'd make a video just showing you when I got it and some tips and tricks and just go from there. So let's take a look. Okay, now the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to fly to Illidari Perch in Azuna. Now, the artifact for the hidden weapon of being holy it only drops Inferno off demons. I will repeat this. It only drops off the demons in Farinar, which means you kill beasts or anything like that. It's not going to drop. I promise you that. So once you get to the Illidari Perch, the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and walk the path down to the Soul Engine Apocalypse. Now, yes, where this is at, it might look familiar if you know you actually go and do your world quests this is the area where you actually go and do one of your world quests now in this video I actually happen to do it during the world quest and the reason for that is because of the spawn rates now the spawn rates are a lot faster and a lot more upkept when it's a world quest so I waited up until the world quest was actually available for me to go ahead and go there so that way the spawn times were a lot quicker now one major important detail like that is the most important one before you go and spend all this hour farming and you come up empty-handed you need to have your artifact knowledge at level 5 or higher if it is not at 5 you are not going to get it to drop. I don't care how long you farm, it will not drop, and I promise you that. Now, one thing that you will see is when you're walking around the Soul Engine, there's going to be glowy fell forges. Now, these fell forges are going to go ahead and give you a 25% crit increase. This makes a big fucking deal, especially if you're Holy Paladin and the main priority stat is crit. You're going to realize that it's a lot easier to go ahead and kill things. Now, a couple other tips that I have for you as well is if you have your bodyguard, go and make sure that you use it. I did not have my bodyguard because I like to focus on the mission aspects within the game right now. Um, if I were to go back, I would definitely use the bodyguard to go ahead and help me out. Um, you'll also see in the video that I did come across a couple other paladins farming it when they were doing the world quest as well. So grouping up and making sure that you're faction tagging all the mobs that are in the area it will definitely speed up the process without a doubt. Um, also another thing too is, which is common sense, is flasking, well fed, um, obviously increases damage. I had trouble keeping it up just because I did it for so damn long. I honestly just, I would just forget doing it. Plus raiding for six hours today just was too much. And then, obviously, um, setting the loot priority, I didn't think it would make really a difference, but I didn't want to take a chance. So I set my loot priority to holy, just to make sure, you know, if there was like some reason RNG was favored more because it was set to holy. I didn't want to take a chance, so I went ahead and set it to holy. Another thing to look out for, too, is since it's a world quest, there's going to be a lot of ganking. Me being Alliance, there's a lot of horde. I am on Tychondria, so there's a lot more horde than Alliance. And pretty much any time there was like one horde, three of them would just try and jump in and gank me. It's going to happen because you're doing it around the world quest, but personally I think it's the best thing to do is to do this farm during the world quest due to the faster spawn rates and it's a lot less waiting around and more cruising. And realistically, why would you not want to farm with faster spawn rates? You can get things done quicker and it just makes a lot more sense, man. A lot more sense. Now eventually... Almost five hours later, I kid you not, five hours later, I finally did get it to drop. It actually dropped off a Soul Reaver in the middle of the Soul Engine where the green beam comes down, where all the Aradar Soul Mages are located for the uh, World Quest. That is actually where it dropped. Now, I would circle around the Soul Engine and the circle path that goes around the entire thing well, I managed to go in the middle there and just RNG Jesus was on my side and it just ended up dropping there. So one thing to go ahead and notice too in this video, um, I, I'm not going to put it in it really, but um, you're going to see a lot of ore and herb spawns. Now I'm a miner, so I do go around and I do mine a lot. So 
the fell slate spawn rate is amazing i don't know if it's amazing because of the world quest and they have faster spawners or whatever but i think i ended up coming out with almost a full stack of 200 fell slate during the entire farming which is not too bad for spending you know almost five hours farming it but it was definitely it kept your mind off the farm just because it's such a long hard farm and you're basically relying on rng to help you out now obviously on top of farming for the hidden weapon appearance which took forever um i did manage to go ahead and make a decent amount of gold um not only just from looting the mobs but across the board from other reasons so i did get about almost 14 greens from the entire thing you can see here i got a fucking epic i was really hoping that i was going to get a legendary to drop i still have yet to get my legendary and i managed to get a bunch of scrolls for artifact power coming out to almost 1500 extra artifact power so the grind wasn't really too bad um it is beneficial it takes a while but i'm telling you right now it is worth it now once you've gone ahead and unlocked the actual hidden artifact appearance, there's other things that you can get in color choices. So this one right here is the next step up with completing 100 dungeons using that actual artifact appearance, which means mythics, heroics, regular dungeons, etc. So I plan on going ahead and running like old school dungeons to see if that applies as well. The purple one, completing 200 world quests. Very complex, very simple. Obviously, everyone logs in order to do the world quest. It would just be a grind and a half to go ahead and do that and do it as holy. I usually go back and forth between prot and holy, so I'm going to have to learn how to play holy for, holy, uh, for world quests. And then last but not least, the red one. The red one is killing a thousand enemy players using the hidden artifact. So I'm not sure if these are killing blues or if they're just honorable kills. I would assume that there are honorable kills, so it would be very easy to go ahead and do, especially with the way world PvP is right now. Um, I, I can't see it being hard at all. Well, that about does it. I hope you guys enjoyed the complete guide for the Holy Paladin Hidden Artifact Weapon. Good luck on your farm. It will take time, but I promise you, RN Jesus will be on your side. Be sure to show some love down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.